Are you constantly bothered by websites overloaded with ads? They are even present in the applications on your mobile phone. Have you ever encountered an inappropriate advert when your family is around? How do you tackle those ads that manage to even get around your ad blocker? Well, gladly, there's one answer. A network-wide ad block will filter out ads on all your devices by working at a DNS level. You can easily build one using a cheap Raspberry Pi and a nifty little piece of software. For this project, you will need a Raspberry Pi, a micro SD card, a keyboard, a mouse and a monitor, network connection on the Pi through Wi-Fi or LAN cable, 4 this network wide ad blocker we will use a software called Pihole. Pihole handles everything from setting up the DNS server to filtering out and blocking the ads. It also has a nice interface that allows you to monitor stats in real time and configure its settings such as whitelisting or blacklisting certain URLs. Let's get started. Connect up your Raspberry Pi and fire up terminal. Key in the following command to install Pihole. Allow the script to download and install the package. Follow through the steps of the setup procedure and click on OK to move along the different screens. Note that you will now need a static IP address for the ad block to function properly. Select your available network interface from the given menu. We will choose WLAN O since we are using the inbuilt Wi Fi from the Raspberry Pi. Now you have to choose an upstream DNS provider. We are going to choose Google for its reliability. Proceed to OK after selecting and pressing Enter. The next screen shows a list of third-party contributors from where the pie hole gets the ad queries to be blocked. We suggest keeping all of them checked and then click on Enter. On the protocol setting, leave both options enabled and hit Enter to proceed. Now it will ask you if you want to use the given settings as your static IP. Leave the settings to default and click on Yes. We will click on OK on the IP conflict screen to continue. On the next three screens, select the On option and then click on OK to view the queries being blocked in real time. The privacy screen allows you to configure the level of privacy you want to give to your users. Choose the one that suits you the best and click on OK. Now that we have configured Pihole, allow the installation procedure to continue until you have reached the final screen. We'll just speed up this procedure so as not to waste time.
On this final screen, note down the IP address and the password displayed on your screen to have access to the admin page later on. Now, to connect your network through the Pi hole, you have to change the DNS settings on your router. Open up your browser and type in the router's local IP address. Most routers use 192.168.1.1 as the local IP. Mine uses 192.168.100.1. Most routers use admin as username and password. If you are unsure about the username and password, just Google your router brand and model number to find out. Once inside, Search anything saying DNS Server or DHCP Server. Mine happens to be under LAN and then DHCP Server Configuration. In the Primary DNS Server field, type in the static IP address that you have copied from the final installation screen and click Apply. Now reboot your router. You have now successfully installed your network-wide ad block. Now let's access the admin page to get a hold of the ad request Spyhole is blocking. Open up your browser and key in the following address to access the web admin page. Click on login and enter the password that you copied from the final installation screen. Now click on login or hit enter to proceed. You can now view the different charts of the queries that go through the ad block and even blacklist and whitelist individual queries. How cool is that? Well, it does sound too good to be true sometimes. So let's put it to a simple browsing test on a normal web browser. On one hand, we have the Pi-hole admin web page and on the other, we will browse some known websites that have ads running. Let's see how our network-wide ad block fares. Testing on Chromium with uBlock Origin on, we can still find that our Pi hole stops 4 ads that uBlock Origin would have probably missed. Let's test another usual suspect, PCMag. More ads blocked. Our network-wide Pi hole is doing an awesome job. But what about the ads on a mobile phone app that doesn't have the privilege of an ad block? Let's test free apps on Android to see how well our Pi hole works. On the left, we have an Android phone that is connected to a network without Pi hole, and on the right, our network is connected to Pi hole. Testing our first app, we can see that before we had ads loading in the app. Whereas connecting to the Pi hole, we no longer have any ads. The same thing is observed for the next two apps that we tested. Therefore, we can say that Pi hole is awesome and you should definitely try it. Thanks for watching this video guys. If it was helpful to you, please like it or leave a comment and definitely subscribe for more content on Raspberry Pi. And as always guys, keep dialing pixels.